Welcome back. Uh, just got back from doing a tying seminar and a guy that was in there who watches a lot of the videos, I believe his name is Brian, and he mentioned to me that when I did that, I showed him how I do my own heads and like a lot of times when I do things on these things, I'm trying to show you the, the easiest way or the you know practical way or whatever. And he mentioned, he goes, you know you say that a lot in your videos, that uh, on my own I do this or something like that. He goes, well, so why don't you show us how you do your own? And so I, I'm, I'm going to show you one, you know, I always say how I leave mine a little bigger. And so I was just, I was tying this up for the white and uh, river trip. And so I got here and I thought, well, I'm going to show, because I always talk about how to put the collars on. And so I'm just going to real quickly, as, as everyone out there says, I'll bet he goes 12 minutes. <laughs> Uh, quickly, I'm going to show you how I do my own when there's a lead eye on. And this is, lead eyes are a pain in the butt because, you know, you can't really spin around them as easy because it catches your hair. And so what I do is I've already got my collar put on. You've, you've all seen my how I do my collars. And I've got one stack underneath and I'm going to do another stack. And I'm going to show you, it's a really, it's kind of how we do the, it's kind of how we do the spins anyway but it's kind of a it's an older way of doing it uh, the first time I, I did a i did a video on it uh, how jack gartside showed me how to spin he didn't spin here he actually stood it up and and i use a little of that in here but he did six aught thread and he would tie his in and he would just and i'll show you what i'm going to do but first we're going to i'm going to just show you how i get to this point so i've got one stack i put it on already underneath here and i'm going to take another one pretty beefy you know about pencil a little more than a pencil and so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put this and I I cut these butts off because I've already got my collar in and I want this to be separate from the collar and I want it to look separate not, not, and that's all white but I don't want to get confused with the points of the hair so I cut the butts off and so now I've got this gaba hair here you don't have to cut it straight or anything and so I'm going to come in here right and try to go right as close to the eyes as you can I'm gonna come over I'm gonna set it down and you can see I, I've got one turn of thread I hold it I let it work around the hook just a little bit so it's all covered boom pull straight down that's all there is to it you don't you don't you don't need another turn through it doesn't matter if you want to put one through it you can uh, just to get forward I'm just gonna pull it away and I'm gonna push this back so that I can see where I'm because now I'm in front of the eyes and so I'm going to get, I'm just going to push these back, anything that's not where it belongs. I'm going to come right to the middle of this. And, and this one's going to, I could do two on this one because uh, on this particular fly, where did that thing go? I had one, I was, it was, I don't know what I did with it. I had a big one. I, I leave my heads on, this is on a two watt. This is a big dungeon. And I leave the heads pretty square and pretty bulky. So it could have a little bit more hair on it, but... If I can get away with one, I'm going to because, again, the hair isn't for anything other than building a silhouette. You're not trying to make bulk. I don't want to pack it tight because it's going to make the tighter I pack it, the more buoyant it's going to be. And I don't want it buoyant. I want it to ride. It's just to give me a silhouette of the head. It's not to do anything else. And so I don't want it. Obviously, it's a streamer and I want it to sink, so I don't want it to be really uh, buoyant. So now I'm going to take a really big piece of hair. I'm going to come in here, clean it out, stack it out a little bit in my hand so it's relatively close to the same. I'm going to cut the ends off again. It's Again, make sure it's clean. This one, this is belly hair, so it's usually, belly hair is usually pretty dang good. You don't have to mess with it too much. But you can see now I've got at least twice what I had before. And because it's really hard to, to spin around these eyes, uh, it, it, I'm going to show you how I, you know, how I do it without spinning it as much because, I, and some of them I show people how to stack double double, just stack bounce, stack the top, keep going. And this is just an easier way to do it. And he saw me do it at the seminar, and he goes, "You know, that's not how you did it in your video." So I said, "All right, we'll do it this way." So I'm going to take this, but just like always, whenever I've done one of these, I tell you, you don't start with the hair on top of the hook. You try to let the hair migrate. So the center of the hook is in the center of this. So I put the hair on and I go in here. I've kind of played around here for a minute. Sorry about that. So I come in here, I make a wrap, trying to be kind of right in the middle. 
and just one wrap and what I always say in the videos is as you see it's the thread start to disappear into the hair just follow it with the second one and just what you're trying you see I, I wiggle this around it doesn't hurt you to push down on it to do it like that but what you're trying to do is to get this whole gob of hair the center of the hook in the, in the center of that hair and so when you get ready to spin if you're spinning it would be really hard because it, it's going to try to catch on the the eyes and so you get in here let it work around and then just simply pull and then work it if you don't take a look make sure it's where you want it push it around a little bit and then just see that the, the you can if you when you're not used to this you'll get gaps on the bottom so if you think you've got one just back off just just work your hair just push it down and then tight and just make sure it's tight and this is the guard side uh, technique <clears throat> if you if you were worried about how big this head was you might want to push it back a little bit if you wanted to push into it if, like that and see if you've got you know if you want a bigger head whatever you can you can press it just like you do all of them you can pack it I don't do much of that and so but I want to show you what the guard side technique is is it's getting through here what he did and, and I'm going to do another one on a Latour hopper I'll probably do that because we use six aught and what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to instead of trying to get your way through you go right through it very quickly and what that does is it stands every hair straight up and he'll do it like I said he'll do it with six aught and the amazing thing is, is when that thing's done, you cannot possibly twist it. It's unreal. So that just gets you to the front. You don't stand, you don't trap your hairs. If you want to do another pack, I'm not going to do another one. This is beautiful. So I'm going to come in here, just get that out of the way. This is a fly that I'm going to take with me. And so, and then I'll just trim it up as always. But I just wanted to show you that, how to get in front of those eyes. Because I, when I did it down there, Brian said to me, man, you I say to do this or that and that's how I do my own and like but I'm not looking for a really dense head I'm looking for a loose head you can see that's really soft I'll trim it out give me a nice big head everything will be fine but it's a little bit easier than trying to spin the hair around it or double stacking take a big amount of it set it on top let it work through one turn second turn when the when you stop seeing the thread if you feel like you're not in the middle push it down you get done with the thing, it'll be just as, just like you spun it, just a little faster, a little easier to do. When you got, I still like to spin without the eyes, but that's personal. You know, you can do it however you want. But you can see it gives a nice, everything's nice and full. It'll trim out real nice and a little bit simpler. Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you out.